Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I am going to be bringing you a crochet heart cutout ski mask tutorial. I am so excited to be bringing you guys this video because I love the pattern. Like I just love the ski mask. I love how it turned out. And my very first ski mask tutorial actually did really well. So, you know, that tells me that there's quite an interest in crochet ski masks. So I thought this would be a really cool one to bring to the community because I haven't seen on YouTube or online a tutorial for a crochet heart cutout ski mask. However, I do know that there are already existing heart cutout ski masks. I just haven't seen a crochet version. So this is what I'm going to be bringing you guys today. If you wish to sell using my pattern, please give credit to me and my YouTube channel. And if you do crochet the ski mask and you post it on social media, please tag me because I would love to see it. My Instagram and my Pinterest are linked in the description below. So if you want to check those out, feel free to. Something that I would like to start including in all of my tutorials from now on is this little screen where I will display the stitches to learn and their abbreviations because if I tell you guys all of the stitches that I will be using from the beginning of the video, if you are unfamiliar with any of them then you can go in your own time and learn and practice and as well as their abbreviations because I will start to write the steps on the screen as well because I think it would just be helpful so that you go into the tutorial prepared as well as if you don't want to watch along you can just pause and go with the written pattern. Before I begin this tutorial I do just want to share with you guys the sample ski mask that I made. Now I don't usually create samples of patterns because I think the tutorials that I have made on my channel so far are fairly simple so when I'm just crocheting them I get the hang of them straight away. However with this one I knew that I would have to create a sample because I have never crocheted a heart cut out before and I used this as like a canvas for all of my ideas on how I can create it. Now, now, I did run into one major problem that I did sort out in the final ski mask and that was from rows 1 to 14 I didn't turn my work and then from 15 to the final row I did start turning my work and you can see that it just looks a bit off so I decided that from row 1 I will start to turn my work and the ski mask, the final ski mask looks cohesive and beautiful. You can even see I didn't even tie off the sample because I was just so excited to film this tutorial and just bring this ski mask to you guys. For the lining of the heart, I experimented with various stitches to create the best heart shape so it would frame your face nicely. But now it is time for the actual tutorial. I hope you enjoy. For the yarn, I used cream and red colours of acrylic DK yarn. The cream coloured yarn weighed 64 grams and I used 174.978 yards as well as the red yarn weighing at 72 grams and I used 196.85 yards. To begin you're going to start by holding your yarn with your thumb and wrapping it around your index and middle fingers crossing over to create an X. Then you're going to take your hook and insert it underneath the first loop grabbing the second loop and pulling it onto your hook. Here we've just created a magic circle. If you need more help with this, I have linked in the description my A Beginner's Guide to Crochet video, where I do happen to go over magic circles. Now you're just going to chain two. Once we have our chain of two, you're then just going to yarn over. And now looking at the circle, you can see that we have the actual magic circle loop itself and then the tail end, we are going to have to crochet over both of these. So once you've yarned over, you're going to insert your hook underneath the two loops, yarn over and pull up a loop. So now we have three loops on our hook. And then you're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops. And this is our first half double crochet. We are going to be placing nine half double crochets in total. So we have eight more left to place in. Thank you. 
Now I have placed my nine half double crochets and what we are going to do is we are going to take this short tail end and we are going to pull on it to tighten the magic circle. Make sure that you don't pull on it too tight because you can actually snag the yarn and that's not good because your work will most likely unravel because we can't really tuck it away in the end. And this is why it was important for us to crochet over it because if we didn't do that then we wouldn't be able to tighten the magic circle. Once we have done this, we are then just going to count our two chains from the bottom. So if you pull in it, you can see this is the first one, the second one, and then the, the third one that I'm going to count is the first official stitch. So it is the top of our first half double crochet. And that is where we are going to insert our hook, like so. Make sure you have the two loops of the stitch on your hook like that and then you're going to yarn over and pull your hook through and then taking the first loop on your hook you're then just going to pull it through the second one to create a slip stitch and this is the first row completed now to start on the second one you are going to chain two and then just turn your work Now we are going to be placing two half double crochets into each stitch all the way around. However, at this first stitch, we are only going to be placing one half double crochet because the chain of two acts as the first one. So once you yarn over and insert your hook, you're then just going to yarn over and pull up a loop with three loops on your hook now. Yarn over and pull through all three. So this counts as our first two half double crochets in the first stitch. Now looking at the next stitch, we are actually going to be placing two half double crochets this time and not just one. This being we have no chain of two here that acts as the first half double crochet. So make sure that you have the two loops of the stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Now yarn over and place another half double crochet into the same stitch. And you're just going to be repeating this all the way around up until you meet the chain of two. And by the end of this, you should have 18 half double crochets, including the chain two. So here I'm just counting all of the half double crochets that I did. And in total, you should have 18. This does include the chain of two. So 17 half double crochets, one chain of two, but it's just easier to include it, I think. Just like we ended off row one, I am counting two chains and then I'm going to be inserting my hook into the first actual stitch of the first half double crochet of the row. And then I'm just going to slip stitch into that. Currently we are looking at the back of our work because you can see that the tail end is facing us. So now to start off row 3 we are going to chain 2 and then turn our work. Now we are looking at the front of our work. So you're going to yarn over and insert your hook into the very first stitch. Here we are going to be placing one half double crochet. Make sure you have both of the loops of the stitch on your hook. Yarn over, pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through all three. So this acts as our first two half double crochets together with the chain of two acting as the first half double crochet. Now in the next stitch, we are going to be placing one half double crochet. And then into the next stitch, we are going to be placing two half double crochets. So this is going to be the pattern for row three. You're going to do two half double crochets in one stitch. In the next stitch, you're going to do one. In the following stitch, you're going to do two half double crochets. And you're going to repeat this until you reach the chain of two, which is where you should have 27 half double crochets, including the chain of two. So 26 half double crochets and one chain of two. Here 
Here I'm just showing you that I am finishing on one half double crochet. To end off our row as usual, we are going to count two chains from the bottom and insert our hook into the first stitch, the first half double crochet stitch of the row and place a slip stitch to join the row. To begin a row four, we are going to chain two and then turn our work. Now we're going to yarn over and place one half double crochet into the very first stitch. And now in the next two stitches, we will be placing one half double crochet. So placing one in the next stitch, and then one more half double crochet in the next stitch. So after placing our one half double crochet into the next two stitches, we are going to be placing two half double crochets in the next stitch. When we place two half double crochets into one stitch, this acts as an increase. So what it will do is it will increase the state of the work, basically making the work bigger. And we will do this so that it can fit the top of our head. Now you will be repeating this pattern. So two half double crochets or an increase and then one half double crochet in the next two stitches and repeat. And I will meet you back at the end of the row. Now I'm just going to be joining my row four as we have been doing this whole time. So counting two chains from the bottom and then inserting the hook into the first stitch of the round and placing a slip stitch. This is what my work looks like so far. And now to start row five, we're going to chain two and then turn our work into the very first stitch as usual, placing one half double crochet to act as our two half double crochets. And then in the next three stitches, you are going to be placing one half double crochet. So in all three of these, one half double crochet will go into. And now we will be placing two half double crochets into the next stitch. After this, we again will be placing one half double crochet into the next three stitches. So into these three stitches, we will be placing one half double crochet. And you will be repeating this pattern until you reach the chain two at the end of the row, where we will join as normal. Now I am back to just join my row five together. And by the end of this row, you should have 45 stitches so 44 half double crochets and one chain of two but in total 45. now for row six we are going to chain two and turn our work as usual so we are just placing one half double crochet into the very first stitch And then into the next four stitches, we will be placing one half double crochet. So for example, up until row eight, we will be increasing the one half double crochets we do by one. So for this row, we are doing four half double crochets. However, in the seventh row, we will be doing five.
Now, in the next stitch, we will be placing an increase, so two half double crochets into one stitch. And then after this, we will be repeating this exact pattern until the end of the row. Here I am just counting my chains until the first stitch, which is where I will be slip stitching into. And by the end of this row, you should have 54 stitches, including the chain two. And this is what my work looks like so far. To begin row seven, we are going to chain two and then turn our work. Placing one half double crochet into the very first stitch. And then into the next five stitches, we will be placing one half double crochet. Here are my five half double crochets. And into the next stitch, we will be placing two half double crochets or an increase. Then you are just going to be repeating this pattern until you reach the end of the row and join to the first stitch of the row. Now just join into row seven as usual by slip stitching into the first stitch. This is what my work looks like right now. And we are going to be doing the last row of increases. So we are going to be chaining two and then turn your work. One half double crochet into the very first stitch, right here. And then into the next six stitches, we will be placing one half double crochet. After our one half double crochet into the next six stitches, we will be placing two half double crochets or an increase into the next stitch. And then after you will be repeating this exact same pattern for the last time up until the chain two at the end of the row where we will be joining as normal. So here are my eight rows, and now we are going to be moving on to the ninth row. So just chain two as usual and turn your work. And now for this row, we are going to be placing half double crochets into the front loops only. Now to do this, you are going to yarn over and just looking at these stitches, you can see that there are two loops that make up a stitch. And what we are going to be doing is we are going to be going into that very first loop. So the loop that is closest to your hook. So you are just going to insert your hook through that stitch. So you've got one loop on your hook now. And you're going to leave the farthest one behind. And yarn over. Pull up a loop. And then yarn over and pull through all three loops to create your half double crochet. And this is just what we are going to be doing for the entire ninth row. So I'm just going to walk you through it a couple more times. So you're just going to yarn over, looking at your stitch, you're going to insert your hook through the stitch itself. And this will just leave behind the farthest loop. And you're going to pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three. And just repeat this entire process all the way around until you meet the chain two. And if you want to get ahead, we will be joining the ninth row exactly as we have been doing before. So you're just going to slip stitch into the first stitch of the round. So 
So once you have placed your half double crochets into every front loop, this is what your work should be looking like right now. If you notice from the row that we just did, your work should start to curve down. And once we work up our rows, once you put this on your head, it will fit you perfectly. Here I'm just placing my final half double crochet into the front loop. Then I'm just going to be joining row 9 by placing a slip stitch into the first stitch of the round. For row 10, we are now going to chain 2 and then turn our work. Making sure to skip the first stitch. So we're going to place a half double crochet into the second stitch. And this entire row will just be regular half double crochets into the stitches. And into the next stitch as well. All the way around up until you reach the chain 2. And we will join into the first stitch of the round. Here I'm just slip stitching into the first stitch of the round and we are going to be repeating normal half double crochet rows four more times. So from row 10 to 14 you should have normal half double crochet rows. Starting with a obviously ending off the previous row with a slip stitch, chaining two, turning your work. You're going to skip the very first stitch and then start placing your half double crochets into the second stitch and then you're going to do this this is currently row 11 so after this row you're going to do this three more times and i will meet you back once i have done my next three rows here i have finished my fourth row so this is the 14th row and you can just see how straight the seam is, which I love. And we are looking at the inside of our work because you can see the tail end at the middle from the magic circle. And now what we are going to do is we are going to pull up a big loop and just cut off our yarn. That's what I'm doing here. Once you have cut off your yarn, you're then just going to insert your hook and pull up to tighten it. And now I'm just going to walk you through how many stitches you should have from row 10 to 14 and where I have placed my stitch markers and where you should be placing yours. So here I'm just going to show you my notes that I made on an envelope. Um, so from row 8, here I'm showing you all of the amounts of stitches that you should have. But if you notice, from row 8, we have 72 stitches. And then at row 9, here I wrote 72 stitches, but it's actually 73. So 72, 73. And then at row 10, we are going to go back down to 72 stitches because at row 10, that is where we start to skip the first stitch. And because from row 10 to 14, we skip the first stitch, that means that we basically lose one stitch. So row 10, we have 72. Row 11, we have 71. Row 12, we have 70. Row 13, we have 69. And then 14, we have 68. Now for the stitch markers, because on a row 14, we now have 68 stitches. What I did to find the middle stitch marker placement is I divided 68 by 2, which gives us 34. So from where we tied off right here, I counted 34 stitches and that is where I placed my first stitch marker. I'm going to show you me counting towards all of these stitch markers so that you can understand the placement. So here I am counting to the middle stitch marker. So that will be again 34 stitches. Ignore this yellow stitch marker for now. I will explain its own placement in a little bit. But this is the middle stitch marker right here. And I just inserted it into the 34th stitch. And if I just fold it in half, you'll be able to see that it aligns perfectly with 
the tail end that we cut off. So as for this stitch marker, which is going to mark the side of your face, what I did was I took 34, which we got the first time, we divided 68 by 2, and I divided it by 3, and that gave me 11.3 reoccurring. So what I did was I rounded it down to 11, and I counted from the middle stitch marker 11 stitches, and I inserted my stitch marker into the 11th stitch. Then for the other stitch marker, I counted 12 stitches from the middle. So those are the placements of my stitch markers. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip my work upside down and I'm going to look at the very first stitch marker on the far left side right here. And what I did is I just attached my yarn and to do this I just created a knot onto the stitch. For some reason I don't have the clip. But then I'm just going to insert my hook, making sure that the extra strand is also over my hook. And then I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop. And then I'm going to chain two. This is happening all in the stitch where the stitch marker is. So once you've chained your two, we are now going to yarn over and place a half double crochet into the next stitch. Making sure to crochet over the little tail end so that we won't have to tuck it away later on. Like so, just drape it over. And yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. Now you are just going to be normally half double crocheting until you meet the first stitch marker, which will be the one on the opposing side. So not the middle one, but the remaining one. So here I'm just placing my last half double crochet of the row into the stitch where the stitch marker is. Now to start on row 16, we are going to chain two. You can take out your stitch marker, but I'm just gonna leave it in. So I'm just chaining two. And then you're going to turn your work. And then we're going to yarn over and insert our hook into the very first stitch, like so. Grabbing the yarn, pulling it up, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. Then into this stitch, we are going to be placing one more half double crochet because we are going to be increasing in this row because we want to form that curve around our face for the heart shape. So we have two half double crochets in this stitch and then the chain two on the side. And now for the rest of this row until the last stitch, we are going to be regularly half double crocheting except for the first stitch of the last round. Because in this stitch right here, we are going to be placing two half double crochets. I have now reached the end of the row and I'm going to be placing an increase, so two half double crochets into the same stitch. The next four rows are going to be exactly the same as this first one. So here I'm just placing my final half double crochet in the stitch. So now to begin the second increased row, we are going to chain two turn our work and place two half double crochets into the very first stitch. So now every time that you chain two, you are going to place two half double crochets into the next stitch. And when you reach the end of a row, you are going to place two half double crochets into the last stitch. 
and we are going to be repeating this so this is the second increased row and we need four in total so after this row two more rows and once i have done that i will meet you back Here I have finished crocheting my four increase rows and this is what your work should be looking like so far. In the middle here we will be crocheting so don't worry about that. But for now we are going to move on with the rows. So for row 19 we are just going to chain two as usual. And this row, so row 20 and row 21 are going to be regular half double crochet rows, so no increases. So into the very first stitch, we're going to yarn over, insert our hook and place one half double crochet. And we are just going to repeat this all the way around. Here I have reached the end of row 20 and I'm just placing my last half double crochet. Now row 21 is going to be exactly the same as the previous row. So we are going to chain two and then turn our work. In the first stitch we are going to place one half double crochet and then in every single stitch until the end of the row we are going to be placing one half double crochet. Here I am just finishing off row 21, placing my final half double crochet. And now every row from row 22 to row 26 will be increase rows. And I'm just going to demonstrate how to do an increase row again. So you are going to chain two and then turn your work. Now in the very first stitch, you'll be placing two half double crochets. And then in every other stitch until the last one, you will be placing just normal one half double crochets in every stitch. And then when you reach the final one, that is when you will be placing two half double crochets. Okay, so here we have our two regular half double crochet rows. And then we have one, two, three, four, five rows of increases. And this is what your work should be looking like so far. And now what we are going to do is we are going to connect the 26th row. And to do this, you're going to insert your hook back in and make sure you're holding onto both sides of your ski mask now. And we are going to count the two chains from the bottom. And then we are going to insert our hook into the first half double crochet of the row. So just insert it, make sure you have both loops of the stitch. And then you're going to grab your yarn and you're going to yarn over like so and pull it through the stitch. And now you have two loops on your hook and you're going to pull it through the first loop. So you have just slip stitched your row together. And now from rows 26 to 36, we will be placing regular half double crochets. So we are going to chain two and then turn our work. Make sure you remember to turn your work at the end of each row after chaining. And now you are going to yarn over. And into the next stitch, we will be placing one half double crochet. like so and we will be placing one half double crochet into every single stitch until you reach the chain two where we will be slip stitching into the first half double crochet of the row now i'm just placing my final half double crochet 
and we are just going to skip this stitch right here and then count two chains from the bottom and insert our hook into the first half double crochet stitch and slip stitch to it. Now continue repeating this exact same process until you reach row 36 where we will be tying off our work. Once you've chained your two and turned your work, make sure to skip the first stitch. So we will be placing our half double crochet into the second stitch and the same thing kind of goes for when we're finishing off our row, just that we are skipping the final stitch. And now I have just slip stitched my last row and we can chain one and pull up a loop and then cut off your yarn. And once you've cut off your yarn, you can then just pull it up and tighten. And that is basically the ski mask done. All we have to do is we just have to go in with our red yarn and add the details, which I will show you how to do. But here are all of the 10 rows that I did of just regular half double crochets. And you can see that us missing the first and the last stitch has left us with a very neat seam, which is what I like. And now let's move on to the details. Now we are going to be taking our hook and inserting it into the stitch where the stitch marker is. So the 34th stitch. And then you're just going to take your yarn and drape it over your hook. Make sure that you're looking at the front of your work, so at the top, that's where we are right now. And you're just going to pull the yarn through the stitch. Like so. And then I'm just going to pull it all the way through and knot it a couple of times to make sure that it's secure. Inserting our hook back in, we are going to chain four. So yarn over, pull up a loop and just chain four. Now, once we've chained our four, we are then going to yarn over twice and insert our hook into the next stitch, placing a treble crochet. So to do this, you're going to yarn over, pull up a loop, four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through two loops. So here we have our chain of four and then our treble crochet. And now you can just chain one and pull up a loop and then cut off your yarn, pulling it all the way through and tightening it. So at this point, we are now going to be tucking away all of our tail ends. And to do this, you're going to thread your yarn through the tapestry needle. And I'm going to be inserting my needle through the backs of stitches. So here I'm just inserting into a loop from a stitch. And I'm just going into the loop of the back of a half double crochet. And just going to reinsert because it fell out. And pull my needle through. Like that. Where I've just inserted my needle, I've put it through the two loops of a half double crochet and that is how I would advise for you to tuck away your tail ends. Here, I don't know why I kind of went through the top of the stitch, that's a bit random, but from here on, you can see I'm going through the two loops of the back of half double crochets and this is exactly how I would advise for you to tuck away the tail ends. Now I'm just cutting off my tail end. I have about an inch left of yarn and you are going to be repeating this exact same process of tucking away the tail ends for the rest that need to be tucked away. Now I'm just switching to a four millimeter hook, which isn't necessary. You could still use your 4.5, but if you look at the bottom middle, you should see this little loop and we are going to insert our hook through it 
and take your yarn and then you're going to drape it over the hook like so and then you're just going to pull it through the loop and up onto your hook like so and then we are going to chain two once you've chained your two you are then just going to yarn over and insert your hook into the next little gap now you'll notice that we don't have stitches here we have little loops so what i was aiming to do was i was aiming to place half double crochets into the gaps that way they would be somewhat even because if i place half double crochets into a loop and then into the next one i would place it into the gap it would look a bit funny so here i'm trying to show you the little hole there and that is where i'm going to be placing my next half double crochet making sure that we have the extra tail end over our hook as well because if we crochet over it we won't have to tuck it away later so here we have our two half double crochets and in total we are going to be placing 18 half double crochets but since we have done three at this point we are going to be placing 15 more and I wish, it, I wish I kind of had a better explanation for where we are going to be placing the half double crochets but you can see we don't have stitches here so I'm just aiming to get them through the holes. So just keep crocheting until you have 18 half double crochets in total and then I will meet you back. Here I'm showing you roughly give or take where your final half double crochet should be. So about six loops before the stitch marker. Here are my 18 half double crochets, 19 including the chain two. Now we're going to be placing one double crochet in the next two loops. Once you've yarned over, inserted your hook, pulled up a loop, you're going to yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through two loops. Repeat this for the next loop or gap. Then into the next three loops, we will be placing one treble crochet. Once we reach the stitch marker, that is where the actual stitches begin, so it will be easier to know where you are placing your stitches. So in this stitch you will be placing two treble crochets. Once you've placed your two treble crochets, in the next stitch you will be placing one double crochet. And then in the next eight stitches, you will be placing one half double crochet. Then in the next two stitches, we will be placing one double crochet. Then one more double crochet into the second chain of the chain four. Then one half double crochet into the third chain from the four. And into the fourth chain, you'll be placing one single crochet. Then into the next stitch, you will place one single crochet. Now from this point, we completely mirror the other side. So into the next stitch, we will be placing one half double crochet. And then into the next three stitches, we will be placing one double crochet.
Into the next seven stitches, we will be placing one half double crochet. Into the next stitch, place one double crochet. And into the space where the stitch marker is, you're going to be placing two treble crochets. Now through the next three loops, you'll be placing one treble crochet. Now into the next two loops, we will be placing one double crochet. Now into the next 18 loops, you'll be placing one half double crochet. To finish off our lining, we are going to slip stitch to the very first stitch of the round. Then you can just chain one and pull up a loop and cut off your yarn. Pulling through and tightening. And that is the heart lining completed. Don't forget to tuck away the little tail end. But now I'm just going to show you how to do the bottom lining around the entrance. Now for the entrance lining, I'm just going to be inserting my hook into the middle stitch. Honestly, it doesn't matter where you insert your hook here. But I'm just inserting my hook into the middle, into a middle stitch. And I'm going to be taking my yarn and draping it over my hook uh, and pulling a loop up onto my hook. Now you're going to chain two. And with this chain two, you're going to yarn over and insert your hook into the next stitch, making sure that you're also crocheting over the tail end. And you're just going to be placing one half double crochet into every single stitch until you meet the chain two. We have done this a million times before in this video, so I am just going to let you get on with it and I'll meet you back once I have finished all of my half double crochets. Finally, to end off, we are going to be slip stitching to the very first half double crochet of the row. Then you can just chain one, pull up a loop and cut your yarn. Now all that is left to do is to tuck away the tail ends. And that is the ski mask complete. I think that it turned out really well and I'm so proud of this pattern. I also think that the colours go really well together the way that the red pops. And um, yeah, I'm just overall so happy with it and I hope you guys are too if you make this. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, please comment them down below or message me on my Instagram. My Instagram and my Pinterest are linked in the description below. So if you want to check this out, go check the link. And yeah, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.